first thing you need to do is change the project setting in Unreal. You will go to all settings, type in alpha, so that this post-processing setting enable alpha channel support in post-process setting is selected as allow through tone mapper. That will ask you to restart your project, hence why it's useful to do first. Now we can go back to OBS and here I've got a media source. So this is a looping video, but you could equally do this with a live video input from a capture card, etc. And once this is set up as a source in OBS, you need to make sure it's active. And then we'll select it, go to filters, and very easily we just add chroma key filter. And this will now show it as a chroma output. There's additional work that would need to be done on the feathers here that can both be done with adjustments in OBS and later in Unreal, but it's not for the purposes of this video. You can see that I already have spout filter set up here. I've called this OBS chickens, and this is so that this media is sending out of OBS to spout. So now if I go to Unreal, I need to create a spout receiver to receive that input from OBS. So I'll do that with the spout sender manager. So I go to place actors, type in OWL for off world live and add this spout receiver manager. Drag and drop it into the scene. And I have one already here. And now I need to add a new array for this receiver. So first I need to create a render target. So I will do that and again call that OBS chickens. And from the drop down now I'll have my spout feed from OBS available to select here. Now at this point, there's two possibilities for sending this as a chroma key. The first is that we could send it to Composure. In that scenario, I go to my Composure comp and I have a media plate and I can add one of those by right clicking on Composure and adding a layer element. I have one already. If I select that media plate, it gives me the opportunity to add a texture input. And from that drop down, I can select my OBS chickens render target. The second way is I can add it as a plane. Now in that case, I need to add a plane into my scene. So I will press that here. Now, if I'm going to drag the content of the render target onto the plane as a material, I need to apply two changes to that material. So I'm going to select the render target in content browser, double click it, create material, and then open up the material, make two changes. The first is blend mode. I'm going to change to alpha composite. And the second is in the node, I'm going to connect my alpha to opacity and that will get rid of the black behind the chickens 
it's changing that black now to clear. Apply those changes, get rid of that. And now I can just drag and drop this material onto the plane. And finally, I just need to change the rotation of the plane. And you can see the chickens now active in my Unreal level.